<laughs> you will know troubled hearts you'll know problems have solution trust then i will show and oh, oh you will know trouble hard you know every life has reason for I made it so oh, you know no you know gotta stop now before I get flagged. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Uh Welcome, welcome to the mental house. And a lot of y'all get on me for having that name for a channel. But I don't know what other name I could use to kind of describe what we go through, where we're at, whether we're inside or outside. It's still the mentals and the mental. The mentals in this country are at an all-time low. So now that the uh, reckoning period is over and I can really talk this stuff, I really want y'all to examine the country. Those of y'all who have eyes, let them see. And those who have ears, let them hear. Hear the voice of God trying to tell y'all to wake up. This situation that we're in in America is a cesspool full of madness. You got white supremacists wanting a race war. You got black people who want to retaliate but don't know how to do anything but kill themselves. You have a, a mindset of a bunch of elites who feel that they can take control and do whatever they want to do to women and under the auspices of abortion when any sane and rational person knows that Clarence Parenthood was responsible for so much other than having an abortion. And it's really sad that we have, re they have, not me, ignorant and dumb people have reduced Clarence Parenthood validity and their importance in our community as just an abortion house. People don't, do y'all know that your asses, half you don't have insurance. People were going to Planned Parenthood to get their bodies checked, to use their clinics, going there for HIV testing, going to Planned Parenthood for just testing in a woman's clinic, in a men's clinic, period. Testing for other STDs, using pregnancy tests, testing for breast cancer, all of these things that y'all want to, of all these things that they have provided for us, y'all just want to relegate them to an abortion house. Okay, so say you did away with the abortions. Okay, so, okay, and that's not an issue. Why? Because the name Margaret Sanger is on there. Margaret Sanger is a dead bitch. And because she was crazy and I know what her intent was, that don't mean that her script was followed to the end. Because the services are they providing at Parenthood is just the opposite of what Ma Margaret Sanger wanted. She didn't want you to be tested. She didn't want you to find out if you if you um 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 had HIV or if you had breast cancer or if you had any other uterine cancer or if you didn't have insurance or you were underinsured and you couldn't take any of those reproductive and not only that overall health uh 
uh, 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 what is that? An overall health um, things for your body. Margaret Sanger wasn't interested in that. If she was interested in what we saying and what we know for her to be interested in, then stop using her for the positive programs that go on at parent parenthood. Now that's enough for that because I want to talk about every one of these damn cities and that you hear that they talk about the uh, uh, Democrat and Republican, blah, 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 all that stupid shit. If you want to look at the government, I mean the the governors who ruin, I mean run these towns and these states, they're they're Republican. When Tommy Thompson, oh Jesus, Tommy Thompson, I ought to quit that. When uh uh, what's the dude's name? Scott Walker ran, and y'all fools voted this high school dropout, plagiarizing Marquette student ignorant ass boy to be the governor something you would have never done had he been a black man he couldn't drop out of school and then lie and use other people's material and plagiarize it and then still be voted for oh no that wouldn't have happened if he was an African American but of course it happened because he was a white boy and this is the first stuff we gotta stop people are sick of it white supremacy gotta be replaced with a, a system of justice Otherwise, the system of the whole America is going to come down. And don't y'all feel like in this rape race war, it's going to be a race war and it's going to be easy picking. You're going to have brothers against brothers, families against them. Do y'all really know that? Do you really know the implementation, the implementation and the result? Of a civil war. Nobody wins. You out there killing your own family members. Like black people are doing today. Y'all going to have to wake up. As a human family. We have got to wake up. We had a shooting in a, a deer district. These people out here. Trying to watch the damn Bucks basketball game. That's I mean. I, the deer district. Which is a beautiful place. It ain't going to be no more. And white people ain't going to just get a chance to enjoy shit and think all this mayhem is going on around and all y'all got to do is worry about sports. Either you're going to get proactive and being concerned about somebody's life other than your own or white supremacy and all of it is going to kill you too. The elite is going to kill you too. Okay? Because this is just not about black and white. It's also about class. Okay? It might be coming for my black ass today. But they'll be coming for your poor ass tomorrow. And you better realize that. And if we all don't figure out a way. Look what happened in Buffalo. You had 10 people out there that got uh, shot because of white supremacists in full body regalia. Went out there and shot up the store. And people, I'm sorry, outside of the store where there were 10 people shot, I believe 10 people killed. In fact, those kind of, turn that, those kind of uh, things we cannot afford to have happen. We can't afford that in our communities. We just can't. Who is going to step up and say, okay, I'm on, I'm on God's side. I, I can't pick no more choices with no more colors. I'm on God's side. Otherwise, we all going to perish. The man that went down there meaning to kill all black people in Buffalo. I had to check on my peoples and see if they were all okay. He shot two white people. So you ain't, it ain't never going to be all or nothing. I pray for this country. There are too many guns and there are too many crazy people. And somebody's got to give. Scott Walker took a city like Milwaukee with no jobs, uh, black people living under so low below the poverty level that it's insane. 
Okay? Because all we got here, this sustaining income is prisons. Okay? In Section 8. Now, you take a city like that and like this and let that white boy come in here and talk about, okay, now we can have open carry? That was the most ignorant thing to do to a city that was already teetering, tottering on all this crime. What did you do? What did you help? Who did you help? Nothing. This is just an all free for all. And so unless somebody steps up to the plate, and this is what gets me. People talk about the minister of Farrakhan. How many times have you seen, and since he produces and teaches so much hate, how many people have you seen from the Nation of Islam out here shooting up white people? How many times have you heard them even being accused of mass shootings and, and murder? You know why you took him off the air? And you know why you don't want to be bothered with his message? Because his message is the only message that can raise people from the dead. And we are the walking dead. You know why they stopped? Listen. The, the the FOI was in the Washington, D.C. complexes, housing authority, where they were selling drugs and doing the, everything. When the brothers walked through, all that stuff stopped because we have a way of dealing with ourselves when we put God first. But you know what? The white people didn't like that. The, the elite system didn't like that. Not only did they not like it, they started saying, well, we'll we don't want to pay y'all to be security. You want you love what the work we're doing. You love the work and the crime is gone down. But no, we, we don't want to pay y'all. Or oh, we'd rather pay a police force to come in and shoot and kill people. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So the brothers politely packed themselves up out of there. Ain't no sense of being no fool for a government that had you in chains. So we can't work together? Well, then... Handle your business. Whatever happens, happens. That's pretty much what happened. In my old, humble opinion. Now you've taken people that can speak to people off the air. And this weak, watered down, dumb leadership that's on the planet right now can't move a dead rock. Can't move a dead rock. You need somebody that can breathe some life into these bones. And guess what? Farrakhan's an old man now. He's an old man. But if you look at some of his older videos and you can just calm yourself, maybe start off listening to him preaching in church. Okay? Start off listening to him preaching in church. Because y'all love that Christianity shit. You love it, right? With that being said, why don't you see? See what kind of examples. See what kind of food you can get from your souls out of some videos like that. Because right now, we are a nation at loss. We're lost. At the Deer District, they shooting people up. Right here, can't even enjoy the Bucks game. 20 people shot. People running down Water Street District like a like just a melee. People running from gunshots. Now, from what I'm hearing, I don't know how true that is, is a Boston Celtic fan and a Milwaukee Buck fan got into a disagreement. And that was the result. It's too many guns. We got way more guns, twice as many guns than we got people. I'm not just saying the police should have guns because they don't need them either. Because that's the first thing they use. We got a cesspool full of madness. And it's going to take a God to come down and intervene. And as Dr. Words of the famous Dr. Martin Luther King, either we going to learn to live as brothers or this whole shit going to go up in smoke because we're going to perish as fools. From the, 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 the Dylan roofs and the 
uh, uh, a guy that came out with the heavy artillery and shot up all the shooting up Mexicans in the damn uh, 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 Walmart. This shit is crazy over in El Paso. Mass shootings in your baby's school. You can you sending your babies to school to you don't know if it's gonna be the last day they come back. Because this is a cesspool that Satan runs. And I'm here to find out who's on God's side. Because you gotta let it be known now. Either you for the shit or you or you against the shit. <coughs> You can't talk about no revolution and these people ain't even revolutionized. How are you going to talk of a, uh, a revolution and these people don't know they uh, ass from a hole in the ground? <coughs> and scared to bust a grape against anybody and anything other than somebody that looked like they self. Y'all better wake up because we don't got much time. Time is running out on us. And I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. Enjoy your Sunday. I hate to come at it with a bunch of bad news, but we need prayer. From the uttermost to the guttermost, we need prayer. That's what's wrong with this society. That's what's wrong with this country. Y'all done move God out and put yourself there. You're, you're nothing but a bunch of egomaniacs. Ego. Easing God out. You done eased God out of everything and put your big dumb Humpty Dumpty looking asses up there to serve you. And money has become we'll do anything for it. The bag, the bag, the bag. And now we are a nation in decline. A nation that has the extinction in my nostrils, like the Aztec people. One day we ain't going to be no more, not with this going on like this. I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.